Matthew is with us in Providence, Rhode Island. Hi, Matthew. How are you? Hey, doing well, Dave. How's it going? Better than I deserve. What's up? Hey, so uh, my wife and I are in baby step two. Uh, we have $190,000 of debt besides the house. Good Lord. Um, on what? We, yeah, mostly private student loan debt of mine. What are you? A doctor or a lawyer? I'm a stupid musician. A stupid musician? Yes, sir. I actually, uh, I'm I'm not currently working uh, with music right now. I'm making money. I'm actually in insurance. So that just goes to show you the biggest stupid tax I've ever done. Good Lord. What is your degree? Did you get a degree? No. So even worse. Oh, my Lord. And how much of this 190000 did you spend on that not getting a degree thing? Yeah, about 150 yeah, I've been beating myself up the last however many years. So, so what is your household income now, sir? It is one sixty. Well, that's uh, good so news. That's the good news. That's yeah, good news. So yeah, you my, got a big hole. In a, you got a big hole in a decent shovel. Good. Okay. Yeah. And so, yes, uh, uh, so almost all the one ninety is student loan then, or one ten of it is. Uh, yeah. So it's mostly in student loan. There's fourteen in credit cards and about. Uh, just under five of a car that we're going to pay off very soon. Yeah, okay. So you're working the debt snowball then? So we're working the debt snowball. We're in baby step two. Um, the question is, so my my plan, or our plan, I should say, was to finish this in about three years with uh, the income that we have. Yeah. Um, and we're going to upgrade in-house. We have a family of four. After. Um, after. Absolutely yeah. after. Yeah. Uh, the question that my wife proposed was, uh, our house, we have about 100000 worth of equity in the house. Mm-hmm. So she was proposing, what if we get down to about the $80,000 mark or so um, in a few years, two years, maybe cut cut the debt snowball by a year by selling the house at that point, finishing it off um, and renting while we save up for... Yeah, you know, it's still the same uh, period of time to get into a new house, though. Yeah, I mean that's my my original plan was to just work the debt snowball. You're gonna get to you're gonna get. I mean, because here's the thing: if you sell the house and pay off the debt early, you still got to put the hundred thousand back in an account before you buy a house, right? Right, right. And so it's it's a you're just swapping pockets with your money here. You're not gaining any time on your calendar towards getting a new home. So I'm gonna sit right there. I'm gonna sit right there in that house. Moving is expensive emotionally and financially. So. I mean, if you had three hundred thousand dollars worth of equity and you still had two hundred to buy a house with later, that'd be different. But you got a hundred, and it's going to be gone. I mean, when you do this, so now you got to start over, saving for a down payment, and so you don't really gain anything on your calendar doing that. No. Hey, I'm glad you're working your way through it. It sounds like you got it lined up. And um, hey, we've all done stupid stuff in the past. It's in the past. Put it behind you. Keep, but plow through it. Clean it up. And learn your lesson. Teach your kids don't do this. So you change your family tree now, man. Way to go. Good for you. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.